Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to check a car fuse with a multimeter. So as you can see right here, I have a multimeter and I also have a car fuse. Now this is a small type of car fuse, but the process will be the same for these types of car fuses and bigger types of car fuses. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to take your multimeter and turn it to the continuity setting. And with this multimeter, I am turning it to the ohms section and that will allow me to test for continuity. Now as you can see the number right here is 1 and the first thing that you are going to do before testing the car fuse or before checking the car fuse is touch the two terminals together and see what number you get. You should be getting a number that is 0 or close to 0. So as you can see right now um, it, it, the number is going down. I'm getting 0 0.8, 0 0.7, a number that is close to 0. I'm just going to try touching them like that. It probably does a little bit of a better job. So now I'm getting 0.4. Um, the number should be zero or close to zero. Um, I'm getting a number that is close to zero and it's not zero. Um, it might not be zero for a wide variety of reasons. It might be a low battery. It might be the terminals being dirty. It can be many different things. But you should be looking for a number that is zero or close to zero and that will mean that there is continuity. Okay, so that's the number around there that we should be looking for. Now I'm going to take the car fuse and I'm going to touch the terminals. Um, one term I'm going to touch each of the terminals to each of the sides of the car fuse. One terminal will be touching the right side right here of this metal part and the other terminal will be touching the left side. So I'm just going to touch the terminals to the sides of the car fuse and hold them there and we should see a number that is zero or close to zero and once again we are seeing a number that is close to zero uh, 0 0.6 right now which means that there is continuity in the car fuse and that means that the car fuse is good and that's basically it that is how to check a car fuse now there's one other thing that you can do if you look at the um, if you look at the top of the car fuse, you can see that there are two little metal contact points. You can do the same thing with the terminals, but with, you know, um, do the same thing, but make them touch these metal contact points. Hopefully I can, they're really small, but hopefully I can make it happen. Let's see. Yeah, and when you touch them to the metal contact points, sorry about that, I was blocking the multimeter with my hand. Um, when you touch them to the metal contact points, you can see that I'm getting a continuity. Um, right now it says 0 0.5, so it does show once again that there is continuity in the car fuse, and that means that the car fuse is good. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to check car fuses. It is a simple process and if you do what I've shown you to, how to do in this video, you will definitely be good to go. And once again, you can see that there is continuity in the car fuse. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.